Hello Aquarius, happy holidays. I don't know why I just stuttered, I'm sorry. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, um, and all that jazz. I hope you're doing amazing. This is actually your reading for December 24th through 30th. And I already meditated over the cards, so we're just gonna dive right in, okay? Oof, that one must really wanna come to you. Challenging times. Um, why do I feel like this is something that you're going through right now? Like it's not just this week, it's something that you've been dealing with, okay? Um, but I see some happiness coming in, okay? This struggle, this, this struggle that you're going through is making you stronger, Aquarius. So as long as you keep pushing through it, you'll be fine, okay? Um, it's going to be hard and difficult. You're going to feel like you're losing. It's like you as a roller coaster, like up, down. That's what it feels like to me, okay, this week for you. So Aquarius, let's see what we have for you. You're still re reeling from the shock of either losing somebody or a change in situation, okay? And what's interesting about this is you don't really have hope. Um, that it's going to get better, okay? You don't have, you know, like there's nothing connecting it. You need to let go of hope from it, okay? There's nothing that is, the universe is not assisting this situation, okay? So it feels like very difficult to you, for you this week. It also feels like you have been backstabbed, okay? It feels like something happened and, you know, you weren't ready for it. You weren't prepared. You don't think that it is just to you as a person, okay? And this has been really hard for you or hard to get through. It's a shock. It's a change of pace or path that you wanted and you're mentally trying to fight it. Okay, and but you're also trying to change your perspective because you know that it's not just, it's not right for you to be holding on to this or something that's, you know, not for you or whatnot. Okay, I don't know why this feels not right. Sorry. Okay. And well, whoever this person is, is, they're not giving to you, right? They're not trying to help. They're not trying to make the relationship work. And I feel like you have been trying with little messages to show that you care or something like that and you, you just weren't getting anything back. And that's not fair to you, okay? Now, it does feel like it, hurt, it stabbed your self-esteem, okay? Um, it didn't make you feel good. Yeah, there's a part of you and this is like the weakest part of you that would like for things to start back up and for things to be better, okay? But that's not gonna happen. Um, the Two of Pentacles talks about two different directions, things not being balanced, things not being um, that way. Like it's, it's, just, it's just not an option, okay, Aquarius? So, Strength and Bonds is actually the Ace of Wands, and that talks about you gaining your spirit, gaining your strength back and growing as a person. With the moon coming out on top of that in reverse, it's about facing your fears, right? There's inconsistency and confusion within that situation. Why would you want that uncertainty in your life, right? So there's no need to hold on to hope for this because it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's just confusion. You need to look for other people. You could have lots of other options too, right? Yeah, see, no relationship, no growth, and this person is not who you thought they were, okay? They're not. They're not who you thought that they were. 
So now this week or or just period, you've been focused on healing. OK, you have to give that to yourself. You have to perceive the truth in the situation and not think about the past. Right. You have to think about moving forward and things that are going to stay in your life. It's OK to start something new. You can't let fear hold you back. OK, there's not an opportunity for love. You have this weakness for this person thinking that things are going to come back but it's not okay the ace of cups talks about delays in your love life there are delays in your love life why because you have to get yourself untrapped from a certain person or certain thoughts that you have about how love is supposed to be how it's supposed to grow you have to be willing to kind of flow with people in their situations not that you not that some of you don't but I feel like some people have are having problems with that and that's what's causing them to be so blocked right and they're worn out and and also there are people that are worn out and trying to take so much responsibility for love and situations that don't grow. And it's not about you trying to make it grow. It's about them needing to put more work in to you. Okay. So believe and succeed. That's all about feeling like a failure. Okay. And feeling like a failure, feeling like you've been backstabbed. And realizing that lo love and life is a journey. There are bad times, okay? They all aren't going to be beautiful and magical and spectacular. There are bad times. You have to keep moving. You have to keep growing. You have to keep building. You have to keep learning about yourself as well, okay? Um, you have to keep developing things. See, you got to walk away. You got to walk away from what's not for you and focus on building yourself. You may have failed. You may have failed because someone else chose not to nurture what you have, okay? Also, don't let this turn into jealousy or feeling the need to manipulate this person or be angry with them. You need to just kind of let it go, okay? Which I don't think you're gonna have a problem with. Don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself into holding on to relationships that are not gonna grow. OK, don't think, well, if I just leave it alone, it'll kind of like work itself out. Things will happen. I'm not really worried about it. Um, don't hold on so tight that you're afraid to let things go, like because it's just frustrating yourself. It's frustrating yourself and you're pushing it down, saying that it's OK and it's not OK. You have the power to become who you are. This all of this is giving you the knowledge to move forward. The knowledge to know what not to deal with next time. Okay. See? For you to have something that is stable. Okay. For you to face the demons, you know, that you may have um, when it comes to relationships or whatever this situation is. The weakness that that plays on. This is your time to come over that. To overcome that right? You may feel a loss. You may feel sad. Okay. There may be times where it comes back in and out, but I'm seeing here, you need to focus on your family and the things that are going to sustain you so you can make better judgments, right? All right. So like I said, it feels like you're being deceived. Um, and it's really hard for you to get through this week. Okay. But you need to focus on growth. All right. So let's take a deep breath, everybody, and inhale divine knowledge through opening your heart and mind and exhaling the old issues, conflicts, and struggles of the week. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. You see that? Let the past go. It's not staying around for a purpose, you know? Rejection is God's protection. It's one of my favorite things to say. And sometimes it's just not for you. No matter how much you try, no matter how much you think you want it, or you've built this structure up in your mind. You know, there are different paths and different things that you have to go through. And it just doesn't feel like this was the one for you, okay? Forgiving and learning. You have to, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love. You see that? You experience more love in your life. You experience more love with yourself. Because I see a little downness, a little depression, a little sadness, a little deceiving yourself. Okay? Um, but I feel like you're going to get over that. 
you're gonna get over that you just have to remember that sometimes the road is hard okay children you may have children this is a good time to focus on them a good time i feel like they are going to bring happiness to you um, playing with them spending time with them they're going to make you happy change your perspective on um because i see like the, your children doing something you getting upset but look at it differently like be a child get on the floor with them play jenga you know things like that you have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Exactly. When you start to heal yourself, when you start to deal with all of this moon energy and this sword energy, okay, you're going to have a lightness about you. And that will attract the people that you need to you. Okay. But it's just about you opening yourself up and letting that light in. Okay. So thank you so much for listening, Aquarius. And I will see you next week. Love and light to you and yours. Let's meet again for self-discovery. Bye-bye.